Okay, guys, so I'm working. So, one sec. I'm sorry, I'm sitting on my foot and now it's like fell asleep. And now it's. Okay, there we go. There we go, my foot fell asleep for a sec. And I'm working on a song, and I actually wrote what's gonna be the next part of the song already. But I never put it on paper. I, like, came up with it, like, one night while I was scrolling on Instagram and realized it doesn't make sense for it. It might make sense for it to be the beginning, but I didn't want it to be the beginning. So it's going to be like somewhere in the next part. I got the beginning of it in the song is called I Didn't Want to Hurt Her. So it talks a lot about kind of the reason, part of the reasoning that I didn't tell my crush that day. Like, in, like here's the thing, is that uh, I had years, years. Of chances and week after week after week after week plus a second chance one week that actually ended up not being a second chance because um, we ended up not having music class that week where basically what happened and this is a funny story that I'll tell you in a second well it's like funny in a way but also it's torturing for me I'm like Chances to tell my crush that I liked him. Never had a girlfriend that I knew of up until the day before Valentine's Day. Then he told me. And I'm like. In my brain, I'm like, okay. How do I respond to this? In a nice, positive way. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I just like very, like. I, I just played it off as my shy self that I was. And even now, I feel like I'm still a little more shy, but not. And that makes sense. Like, I'm... And I basically told... I'm just like, okay, cool. But in my head, I'm like, no, this is the worst possible news ever. For me, anyways. In my brain, I'm like... Chance to be happy. This is taking that chance away. So yeah, it was a thing. But then, then I basically just kind of like played it off and stuff. But it was like the first time that like I my brain was on two decisions. My original plan on what I wanted to do was I wanted to just tell him. I wanted to essentially, like, hand him the card with my mom's phone number on it, because my mom did give me permission. And then I wanted to just hand him the card, tell him over the phone situation. That way, if I got rejected, it was somewhat better than, like, being rejected and then have to, like, see him for a few more minutes or something. And so, like, then when that happened, it was like, I can still try that plan, but I don't know. Because in a way, I never wanted to hurt her. And that was my thing. Was that, like, yes, he had a girlfriend, but I never wanted to hurt her in any way. I don't know her. Her, I generally don't know her. But, or at least I don't think I do. And, but, in ways, she could potentially like be a really nice person. I don't know. I 
think she is because I know my crush and I don't think he would would date someone that isn't a nice person unless they tricked him and acted like a nice person and then eventually turned around and went like, sorry, I'm not. But then also... But anyways, 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 so like, I, but who knows, like, she could be a horrible person, I don't know, but like, I always, am like, I never want to hurt her if she's a nice person, if she's not a nice person, and, and I'll steal him, no problem, <laughs> I'll like, if I get a chance to date him and she's not a, nice person, and yeah, I'll take it, no problem, I'm not even caring if it hurts her or not, uh, if she's not a nice person, you know, but if she's a nice person, then I obviously don't, but the thing, and that was the thing, was that, like, there's a line that I'm gonna actually read to you right now, I wanted to be with you, but I don't want to hurt her. Then there's also another line. Let me find it. It goes like two lines. Um, I always loved you from the start of week three, but I always knew you were someone I can trust. Meaning, and what that means was that even though at the beginning I hated my crush, I'll straight up tell you, I hated him. And the reason is, I almost felt bad saying that after, because then I learned the situation. And at the time, I, like, at the time, it kind of made sense, so, and my dad kind of understood, which was that at the beginning, so, here's the thing, when my crush first started coming to music class and stuff and came into my life, I was a very shy person. I was the one that would much rather take, like, even though in music class it was never an embarrassment, but I feel like sometimes in school people say that's embarrassing. And I think the reason it was because he generally just had a, like, nice, fun music class teacher. Teacher, like, yes, she had certain rules, obviously, but that was, like, reasonable stuff, like, don't hit each other, don't punch each other, or, like, don't talk back to teachers, like, just reasonable, everyday stuff, like, nothing crazy. You know, like, far that like, oh, you can't do, like, she was never, like, too crazy with her room. It's just reasonable stuff that makes sense. And, and what happened was... And was that straight up what... Uh, you know, I would much rather be partnered with the teacher than someone else in the class. Not even the assistant, like... Because I was very shy, and that... I was shy, and I was in my bubble, and what I mean by that is I had a shy personality, Lindy, so I would, like, kind of freak out if people were in, like, my personal safe bubble, or just generally if people were in my life too much, I, and I didn't really know them too much, then I would freak out. So for me, it was like very like 
I'm in a music class, I don't even know how I actually managed to keep going up until my crush. Like, at the beginning, it made sense, because at the beginning, I had a friend. Like, we were really good friends. I felt like, like, part of that, I knew we were. And then, like, that was, like, the reasoning that I kept going. But then, it got to a point where she quit, and it was really sad for me. Because it was, like, at this point, it was sad for me, because it was hard, because it was like I had a friend there, which was kind of the whole reason I enjoyed going. And then you're telling me she quit. That's just like that. And the sad part was she, she was the one that told me that she quit in art class. And I'm like, huh? So like for me it was very hard and then and so I kind of just kept going for a little while and then I'm like I don't even know why but I'm glad because then it led me to my crush but at the beginning like there was me being shy awkward wanting to well not awkward just shy not outgoing Wanting to be partnered with the teacher. Or not really saying much of anything. And then there was my crush. Who had week one. And I feel like week two played a little bit of something. And, and it, I hated him because he was very the opposite. Outgoing. Like I walked in and then at me. At least she like. I she like said, Lolly, this is and she said my crush is name. And then she like said the same thing to my crush. And like she said, My crush is name, this is Lolly. And immediately he went, Hi, I'm blank. I'm not saying his name on social media. That will be his choice. And, and like immediately out go and try and talk to me and I'm like in my head like is there some way I can just fast forward through time, get past this moment, and or just this music class, be done with it? And then, but part of me was like, I, I'm almost left, but I wouldn't like, because at any moment I had the right to get up and leave. I mean, like, my, I could literally get up and go into the waiting room and be like, hey, I won't leave. And me and my dad would leave. And then one thing led to another. We were like at the beginning, even though he was so outgoing and the opposite of me, I almost felt like somewhat safe around him at that moment. And it wasn't that I never like felt unsafe around people. It was that something felt different in a good way. Like in a really good way. And so I think that was like the foundation of me having a crush on him. Then, one thing led to another, to where we week. But I also felt bad because of the fact that I kind of judged him and it kind of wasn't his fault. And that makes sense in the sense that his medicine wore off and he was very hyper. But that's fine. Now I like look back on it and I'm like, I kind of like that in him. I, I mean, in that moment, I was like, no, like, please just be done with it and... Now I'm like, not like done with him, just like, I, I don't even know, like, it wasn't that I hated it in him, it was 
It's like, I think it was a lot for me at once. But now I'm looking back on it and I'm like, it kind of makes him, him, him more, makes him, you want to date him more than that. <laughs> the funny thing is that I'm about to tell you which is but one of them. And that a long time ago, me and Bella's sister were like describing like our dream like person to date and I'm like, I literally described my crush, and then she went like, you realize that's your crush, and I'm like, huh? And she like, you just described your crush, and I'm like, I, and then she started listing everything that I said, and then, and I went like, oh my god, that's my crush. Well, um, um, that's good for him. If he has a crush on me too, and I don't know, that's good for him. To know that he's my dream person to date. And stuff. But like... <laughs> so, yeah. Versus, then, we, so that was the thing, but the funny thing is that I wanted to tell you, you before, was that uh, I had this one week, so this one week, my parents, and, and like, my sister had me, and, like, that was signed up for a fun little summer camp, like, just during the day, like, go for a couple hours, do a few fun little things. And we live one day, and I think it was a Wednesday, if I'm correct. I feel like it was. Um, me and Bella's sister are sitting at, like, a table. Oh, like, I think we were just, like, messing around or something, like, because I know at the beginning of the day, we would, like, I, we would have, like, a little bit of time to like, mess around, like, they had, like, board games and stuff that we could, like, play and fun little things. And then we were messing around or something. I, now that I think about it, I don't even know. Oh, wait, I think it might have been, I think we were having a water break because they would, like, I make a, like, they would full-blown force to take, like, water breaks or, like, to stay hydrated, only because we were doing a lot outside and hydration. Well then, and, and all of a sudden I look at Bella's sister and I'm like, wait, is that my crush? And she looks over and is like, I think it is. And then, unfortunately it wasn't. And all that fine, so. Oh, like, at this point, I'm like, okay, I have an opportunity to tell him, but I'm not going to, like, tell him right now, like, in front of all these people, like, and then finally, only, it was, like, I think lunch breakers, or no, it was, like, we were hanging out again, and she's like, I, so I went up and asked that person, and it's a twin brother, not not on your crush, she went like, I, I asked him if he knew blank, and he said, oh, that's my twin and brother, and I'm like, okay, not as good as we wanted, but we can work with this, this is easy to work with, I'm planning out something in my head and stuff, and then all of a sudden, and, and at, then all of a sudden, and like nothing was happening, like we came back in, but we were got separated to different table for no reason. Literally, it was just because of that they would put like a certain amount of kids at a certain table, oh, for certain reasons. But in the morning, we could just kind of mess around, and also we just went to separate tables, and then all of a sudden, I, 
hear like one of the staff people talking. So I turn and I look, and my crush is standing there, and I'm like. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Like freaking out in my my face changes, and then like some of like the people at my table are like, "Are you all right?" And I'm like, "Be quiet!" I didn't know that's fine in a minute. And <laughs> like I wasn't like rude. I was just like very calm, like kind of in dreamland. If that makes. And then he's like, "Oh yeah, my my twin brother forgot his lunch in my dad's." Or my grandfather's truck. And I'm like, or car, like truck or car. I'm not, not being Pacific, but you, or, yeah. And then, then they're like, okay, just set it over there on the table for him. And so my crush does that, goes over and is talking to them for me. And I like, can't hear what he's saying. And I'm like, what are you saying? Tell me. And then all of a sudden he leaves. Well, he kind of looks at me, points, and then leaves, and I'm like, wait, what happened? Why did you point at me? Is this good or bad? Like, freaking out in my head, and then one of the staff people, people came up and were like, you go to music class with that person? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, cool. And they leave, and I'm like, what did he say? Like, freaking out. I'm dying to know what he said. And now it's just torture in my brain because I don't know what he said to this day and it's very annoying. But the whole song is referenced towards how, like, I never want to hurt my crush's girlfriend unless she's mean. And if she's mean and I get a chance to date him, I'm taking it. And if she isn't, it's gonna, if she's nice, it's gonna be a hard decision for me. <clears throat> But I am going to go. I want to come on here and just talk and stuff.